doing such a background, I know so many other writers I would never, never even dare to ask them to do something like this. Good morning friends and followers and welcome back in 2020. Yeah, a lot of people of you ask me why don't you upload more videos? Yeah, I took a little rest. I had to do some renovations in this house over there. Some rooms flipped with each other. My boys will have a room upstairs now and my little girl will have an own room there. I will get finally some more sleep and this is the foundation for new and more YouTube videos in 2020. And today I have a visitor. Look who is there, Mr. Biatch. Uh, you already know him from a lot of other YouTube videos that we did together. We met in Frankfurt, he painted several times here in my garden, underneath a bridge. Uh, I will link all the videos, I will link them there, no, there. I will link the videos over there. Today we want to destroy this wall that I painted together with my crew member Kier. Uh, yeah, and we want to paint bricks. <laughs> we want to paint bricks again. The big project is to do a bricks background. And now I would say, let's start. <laughs> this roller is with voice control. This is the color combination that we want to paint. Um, the, the dark red colors are for the outlines. And we want to make a fading from this dark green over the light green to the blue. Do we want to do the blue at the top or at the bottom? Um, bottom? Bottom. So we do the blue at the bottom. This will look very fancy, I think. And at this uh, point, I have to say a big thanks to Montana Cans for supporting us with very good spray cans. Thanks a lot. Okay, after uh, 10 minutes, I made the first lines real quick, real dirty. Um, and now I do the adjustments with a lighter color, like always, do some tiny adjustments so that I can uh, really see what I want to paint. And over there, Biat is already doing the fill-in, but I'm not that happy with the E. The E it could be a little bit wider and I will erase all those dark lines and push it a little bit more forward. And after that I'm happy and I can start with the fill-in as well. Now I'm happy. Now I am now I'm happy. I'm always in love with the struggle to make the letters look clean and good. The E is still the E is still a little bit small. And the extension is a little bit big, but I will leave it like that because uh, I like it and that's the most important thing that I like it yes 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 and now let's start making the fill-in then I will be faster I will be faster than Biatch the race is starting now
Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Go. Okay, friends and followers, day one, it's getting dark outside. Uh, the style is nearly, nearly finished, but we just painted three and a half hours, right? Yeah. Okay, we painted just three and a half hours. It is five o'clock in the evening now, and now we do some beer drinking stuff and talking about graffiti. <laughs> this is the most interesting part for me always when I paint with other writers and tomorrow it will be very interesting because we will do the background and uh, I don't know if I already told you but we want to do some um, bricks in the background grave bricks and some tags and make it look like an old messy graffiti wall you will see we want to create a really, really dope 3D effect. Yeah, I think so. Good. Be great. Will be amazing. Morning. Yay. Oh, das ist ja ultra scharf. Yeah, I'm super satisfied. This looks sharp as f Wow. I don't get paid to, to tell you this, but the combination of uh, Montana cans with this level one green super skinny cap, it is insane. It is insane. Look at these super sharp, thin lines. <laughs> so happy. 
Yeah. And just because I have only this one spray can for the whole blocks and the whole outlines, everywhere where I know, like here or here, or this part where it will be dark anyways, or this part here, I won't paint it first with the outlines and blocks color. I will do it with the shadow color so that I don't put layers of colors over each other so much. Mr. BHD paints first the whole blocks and does the shadows after that, like you can see here. Wow. Hi. You're doing this so well. Thank you. Haha. -ha. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, like the way uh, Biatch does it, it is a little bit a waste of colors. And I think there's still the half of paint inside here. Super good. And now we continue painting. Good, 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 good. This looks good. Okay. Like you can see, the styles are done now. In general. Maybe we'll do just a few adjustments, but there is no background. And our idea was to fill the whole gray space with bricks like I did um, in the last video but we won't do it as clean as we did as I did in the last video let's do some bricks this will be funny <laughs> Coochie! This, by the way, is the dog from Biatch. This is Poochie. <laughs> he is so cute. And he has a very, very soft fur. <laughs> This is super chill dog. And this is pure luxury. Having a coffee machine, something to eat, a fridge. I even have Wi-Fi at this wall. At this wall. And now this wall really is a wall. <laughs> Super cool. And now I will explain to you how how I make the shadow. Now this drop shadow here is always about the length of the spray paint in a 45 degrees angle down to the right. Always like this. And um, now when I paint the background pattern or the stones in the background um, everything that I have to do is I'll put you over here stay here I will show it to you now everything that I do I have three different colors I have the gray like this Boop. Now I just spray paint a darker gray on the shadow. Be careful that you don't destroy your piece. Oh, 
like this. And now I use the lighter gray for the stones that are in the light. And some structure. And now have a look. It looks like this. There is no magic included, just three different colors. No transparent color or something. Yeah. And we are both totally annoyed by the structure, but we are re 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 but we are nearly done. Okay, and after <laughs> after after a lot of mess that we made on this wall, we are finally ready. I want to say thanks a lot, Mr. Biatch, for being here and painting with me. And now I will show you the final result. But because it was so dark outside, everywhere was very dark darkness. I waited until the next morning and now I will show you the final result in perfect daylight. at this reflection. <laughs> okay friends and followers I just want your opinion because my wife she does not like the background yeah but our idea was I just want to explain it very 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 quick our idea was the roots of graffiti and where it all came from and how we all started the messy text that all of us have done done somewhere in comparison to this super clean uh, well balanced pieces yeah but of course the background looks messy it does not have to be clean who says that it has to be clean write down your opinion about the background I think this is graffiti this is so cool I like it with a terror line <clears throat> okay friends and followers that's it for today i hope that you were a little bit entertained please check out the uh, links in the description from uh, montana cans their youtube channel and their website spread some love check out their videos and please don't forget to like the subscribe button and that's it for today i hope to see you in the next project i have the 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 the, 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 the.